Tony Moakley, you have a special guest for us. I do. Um, I'm going to call this guy the little Aussie bottler, Grub, yeah. because you would know yes. that when you go into a hobby shop and you look around, most of what you see is made offshore. Yes. It's imported. Yes. And um, if you want to support local industry, uh, your intentions are good, but often the quality is not. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't match what's, uh, you know, what the imported guys do. Correct. How about a guy who, um, with his wife... Mm -hmm has set up a paint company and a model supply company. Jay. This stuff is out of this world. It is wow. brilliant quality. And it's two-person operation. And the man behind it, it's it's called SMS. Remember SMSs? Yes. We used to send them to each other. Yes. Scale Model Supplies Good. Uh, is the name of the company. I Honestly, I'm not getting I'm not getting anything for this. No. This is just I want to bring to this your attention all the us. fact that this stuff, yes, it's Australian-made. And, yes, train modelers can use this stuff as well because the metal paint, in my opinion, is the best going. And, and you can't make model aircraft without good metal paint. Correct. You know, good realistic uh, yes. finish. Anyway, the man behind the, the company, SMS, Scott Taylor, joins joins us now for a chat. Good afternoon, Scott. Good day, Scott. Good afternoon, fellas. How are you? Good. Welcome. What what possessed you to get into this? Uh, you, you're obviously a modeler. Yes, I am. And so, what was the what was the inspiration to do your own thing? Because I've got some of your product. I just uh, happened to be looking at it the other day, and I've got to get myself a, a decent a new air gun. But tell us about your inspiration. Well, the, the main inspiration behind it all was to change my direction in life. Um, I was working a job that was uh, physically intensive, so I was a landscape gardener at the time. Yeah, um, and. Uh, like most people who have hobbies, they want to try and turn the hobby into a uh, financial sort of yep. you know, business. So I tried a few different things, and eventually I settled on making a consumable product, mm -hmm. being paint. And, and um, in 2016, we um, we kicked off with it. Now, when you say we, the the power behind the throne, oh, it's me. <laughs> so it's no, all it's you. That's no, no, that's <laughs> no, both of us. I'm just joking. Um, no, it, it's uh, until recently it was was myself. Um, I, we're both we're both working day jobs, yeah. but during during COVID, um, things change, and that and we both work together now, so we're both equally as responsible. <laughs> that's fantastic. So, Scott, where where did you so, so where was your laboratory? Where did you start? I mean, you you you're mixing up stuff, you're making stuff. How does it all work, Scotty? Well, we're based in Ballarat. Mm -hmm. um, we started the company in our garage at home. Yeah. Um, and after a certain while, we couldn't... Uh, we, we ran out of space. That's, that's probably the easiest way to put it. Um, and now we have a, a factory here in Ballarat that we that we make everything out of. Um, we do a, a combination of um, products that are mixed off-site and products that are mixed on-site. Mm-hmm. And um, basically, it's pretty much me being a mad scientist trying to make cool colours. Jeez. Um, give, us a, give us an idea of the range of colours and the range of products that you sell at SMS, because it's not just paints, is it? It's um, The great thing about it is, again, these are made in Ballarat. They're not made in, in yeah. Japan by Tamiya or, you know, or, or by some company in China. Um, it's done here, which is great. So give us a, a range of – or a, a, an idea of your range, please, Scott. So all our paints are made here in Australia. We've got the Australian made certification on each, every, on every bottle. So the green the, the green triangle with the, the kangaroo on it. Yep. Um, some of our most of our tools and accessories that we do, we have them imported because unfortunately um, the, the manufacturing is not here for, those, yep. for these products. But our, our main range is our paint. We have the three different paint ranges. Our 30 mil premium range, which is our flagship range, mm -hmm. they're all airbrush ready. So right. they're just a matter of giving them a shake, pouring them into the airbrush yep. and spraying them. Now, those ones are an acrylic lacquer, mm -hmm. so they're a solvent-based paint. We've also got a 10 mil version of the acrylic lacquer, but they are a concentrate. Mm -hmm. So very similar to, similar to... Um, to me, uh, Mr. Hobby, those sort of things. Paint that you need to thin for airbrushing, but you can uh, handbrush. Okay. Okay. Um, and our third range is our water based range. Okay. And um, that's very similar to the brands like Vallejo or Citadel, those sorts of uh, miniature painter range. 
Yep. So they're, they're our main three paint ranges, and then from there we've got tools and accessories. So we've got airbrushes, we've got paintbrushes, we've got uh, the, oh, the, the, cutter, the cutters and tools, to, yeah, everything you need to um, make a model. I just love the fact that made in Australia. So few yeah. things are, everything's gone offshore, and uh, th- th- this is wonderful. Is it, look, I've, I'm uh, needing a new airbrush at the moment, and uh, where do I see your products? Uh, Train World, I think, in Brighton? Um, yes. They, uh, I bought some things of yours there. Just I didn't know you were coming on the program, Scott. So once again, congratulations. And uh, I'm, they're in the train room now uh, amongst – they're waiting. They're, they're a project waiting. Uh, I've got some rust and a couple of other things I want to uh, – I want to start weathering a uh, a couple of steam engines that uh, do heavy industrial work. Um, you've got the right product for me. I need to get the airbrush. So there's Train World in Brighton. Where else can we find your things? Across Melbourne, we've got Andrew's Hobbies. Yep. Out in Ravenhall. Yep. Uh, they're right at the very far end of Ravenhall, out near the Bunnings on Ballarat Road. Yep. Gotcha. Um, then you've got three different uh, Metro Hobby stores. Yes. Uh, Hearns Hobbies in the city, uh, Hobby Man Narra Warren, Gundams Plus in Hawthorne, uh, Models and Hobbies for you in Baronia. Um, yeah, we've got to think the rest now. <laughs> Scotty, <laughs> well, you've, you've got a website, though. haven't you, Scott? It's uh, sms.com.au, is that it? Uh, no, uh, this, it's scalemodeler.com.au. Yep, okay. There we go. Well, yeah, and if you hop on there, there's an, an interactive map, so it actually show you all the stores across Melbourne. It's a um, very good website. Yeah. That's a beauty. This is, Scotty, it, look, I'm, I'm saying to people, if, if you're into modelling, if you're into this, uh, support Australia where, where you certainly can. And now we actually can support an Australian company, which is uh, I'm thrilled level. about. It's top level. Yeah, and you, top you shelf. Lose, in fact, you gain uh, quality yes. over the other stuff. And like Scott says, it's pre-mixed grub. When you get your airbrush, yes. there's no fiddly mixing and nope. mad scientist stuff. It's yep. Poured, shake the bottle, it's the right consistency. Perfect. Away you go, yep. and it's it's terrific stuff. Lovely. So, um, you're doing a great job, Scott, and, a, uh, and thanks for joining us. A modeler doing it for modelers. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. Uh, Scott Taylor, well done. Congratulations. We love it. And Tony, I think you'll agree. One of the biggest upsweeps in the model world over the last say couple of decades is the realistic weathering and painting. And oh. everything. It's not a matter of just whacking a bit yeah. of paint on a plastic no. model. It's it's all about the detail and weathering and the staining and the... Yeah, and, 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 and the, the oil, hydraulic fluid that you correct. can replicate. We, we live yes. in the best of times as far as that goes We now. certainly do. What a, what a thrill it is uh, for us uh, to do and then display our models to our, our peers and indeed our partners uh, indoors. <laughs> <laughs> right, because Grub, you've never never seen Kate's face light up when I bring in something I've been toiling away at. Yes. And oh, uh, and she will often will, I see her on the phone madly texting and within 15 minutes her girlfriends are at the door, there's flutes of champagne. I thought they were off to the races, but no, no. they're all gathered around, they're all gathered around the Spitfire Mark 14. That's right. With some very uh, discerning uh, critiques, I yes. might say. And isn't that a good thing? And I know when you've taken your models in here to Radio 3 3AW, Bianca uh, just goes around, oh. and it's too distracting for her, and <laughs> <laughs> she can no longer banter with you on, her, uh, on Monday, no, early no. Monday mornings, so she's just too excited to speak. I know she has, because she's expressed it to me, you must stop taking That's your models true. in. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> always delightful, let's go to a break, more of it calls after the break. Tony Mokler is here, it's planes, trains.